Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining Qigong every day offered by Spring Forest Qigong. We meet every Monday and the recording will be available on YouTube. So this is me, Satsuyoshi, today's guide. So we have some time to uh, uh, for the Facebook live stream to begin. So I will just not talk um, so until then. So now, um, so Master Jackie is working behind the scenes, making this happen. So thank you so much, Master Jackie. And then and I, I know that they are having Spring Forest Qigong. It's having a healing retreat. So that's wonderful. So um, yeah, I uh, hope the many, many, many wonderful healings will happen during that retreat. So uh, while we are getting ready, I would like to encourage you to set your intention for this practice. And of course, you know, find your good place, you know, so that you can be focused. So uh, you can just you know, um, say or write down your intention, what you want today, this time, during this practice. So because your mind is powerful and uh, your chi or energy, which knows what to do. Ah, uh, okay. Oh. Uh, Master Jackie said, you know, go ahead. Live stream is not going. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but you no, know, I would just keep going. So um, while we are getting ready, oh, no, I, I said this one, right? <laughs> so uh, because you know, your mind is so powerful and then your chi, we call it chi, energy, which knows what to do for you um, and then to support you will follow when you have the intention or where your mind goes. So this is why Spring Forest Qigong is called, uh, called the message or information healing. So, you know, have your intention for today's session. Yeah, it will be powerful and you will know this. Okay, so I am waiting for the another, um, yeah, go sign. But, you know, so it's getting colder here in Wisconsin. I'm from Wisconsin. Uh, and then, you know, I can see from the, through the window, I can see still green leaves and then, you know, some tinted red leaves and the yellow leaves. And it's so beautiful here. And then I can see uh, those, you know, turkeys, you know, walking around and then deers. Uh, and then the thing is my garden, you know, I have a vegetable gardens and a flower gardens, and then there are a little, you know, winding down. So it's the time, you know, we change and then we uh, look forward to the, uh, well, you know, fall or winter, you know, winter is coming very, very quickly in this area. So, and then because of that, you know, I decided to do something uh, today, you know, I have not done before. So, I so look forward to uh, be doing that one. And then, you know, it's top, past top of the hour, but uh, I don't hear anything um, about the Qigong every day. So I would just start, I think. So it is time to start. So hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining Spring Forest Qigong every day and then being part of this beautiful community, you know, you know, we are creating this community, you know, by being here, joining, practicing together. So my name is Misa Tsuyoshi from Wisconsin, and I am a certified instructor, certified trainer, and a certified healer, and feeling so honored to be here. So after a cancer removal surgery in 2012, I started Spring Forest Qigong and then I have been cancer free since then. So this Qigong also has been supporting me as a family caregiver. You know, my parents in Japan, you know, they are getting old and then my own husband and then, yeah, and then other people. So um, I have been with Spring Forest Qigong for years because it is so simple, doable, enjoyable, and yet powerful. So. Um, and then I really um, can help others too. And so I appreciate Marceline's dedication, continuing to evolve this wonderful uh, practice of the heart, Qigong. So um, 
Next week, before I forget, Master Munira Jiwa will be the leader. So everybody knows you know, she's wonderful. So don't miss out the opportunity to practice with her. So today I am leading this practice based on what I have found recently. So make it short. The focus is the contentment. Knowing that I have enough brings all the positive emotions that are introduced in the five elements healing movement and then five elements energy system or the philosophy. So it was like you know, throwing one stone and then getting five birds. So am I greedy? I don't think so. You know, we are all you know, here <clears throat> for happiness. Excuse me. So, um, yeah, so I, I created this um, examples. Uh, it may not be very good. You know, it's pretty much in you know, a physical material thing, but you know, it is like, you know, finding enough food in my refrigerator, so to speak. So I can say, oh, I have enough ingredients or food, vegetables and stuffs. And then, oh, thank goodness. And that removes my anxiety. Oh, do I need to go shopping? So, and then I do not need to worry about running out of food tomorrow. So, and then I feel I am in peace. And then I can make our favorite dishes, which will make us happy. So I can just imagine the happiness we have while we eat. And then also being able to make dishes that make my family happy, brings me joy, you know, uh, and then pride, I think. So, um, so that's what I want to practice today. And then I want you to feel it. So, um, yeah, so the key is not thinking about strawberries, for example. Strawberries, I don't have in a refrigerator. So, <laughs> so uh, here's the example, you know, I just not created for this one made up. Uh, so to explain, but they do not have to be physical ones. You do not have to have things or stuffs to make you feel content, right? So my suggestion today, think about something you have already. So something, what you have. And then ability to join this practice, maybe. Yeah, being here, time here, or roof up above your head to prevent you from getting wet or getting cold. Or um, favorite song, row, row, row your boat, Marceline says, you know, things. Or good friends, or um, time with your pets, maybe. Or worn slippers, yeah. And then job you love, yeah, for me, teaching Qigong is the job I love. Uh, and then being able to care for your loved ones. Vegetable garden, great memories or um, experiences that made you who you are. So just think about that, you know, what you have, what you already have. And then I want you to experience it. So I will be guiding two movements um, as a moving meditations. And then you can do them standing, sitting, or lying down as always. And then listen to your body. If something does not work for you today, that's fine. You just need to use your mind, part of your mind, and then intention. So that will work the same. So let's begin, right? So I will just step back a little further and let me just move the window so that I can see myself clearly and then, uh, well, let's do that. So now, okay, stepping back here. I hope you can see me and then you can hear me well. So, all right. So feet hip this apart, smile on your face, drop your shoulders, and then everything is relaxed as if you are, sitting or lying down in the sunshine and then now feet firmly grounded and then feel the connection with the earth and then now we start bouncing so feet are flat and you just bounce from the knees so bouncing and then this is for your detoxification and then grounding so just the feel 
everything. You do not need going out from your body as you exhale through your mouth. And then you tuck your chin, align your neck with your spine, and then close your eyes if you feel comfortable. And then as you inhale, just know that universal energy, healing energy, supporting energy coming in to your body, through every part of the body, through your skin, collecting in your lower dantian, deep behind your navel, belly button. So that divided the energy center, as you know. So feel you are bouncing from your knees, shoulders dropped, smiling. Yes. So I can say you have your smile. That's a great thing to have. And it's okay if you do not want to smile. I am sending you the smiling energy. And if your arms are okay, slowly lift your arms. Let your hands bounce with you. Bounce, bounce, bounce. I will be quiet. So just feel how it feels as you relax your body, bounce, and then inhale the wonderful energy through your nose and then exhale out what you do not, do not need. Feel your feet are heavy, grounded. You feel the warmth. Now slowly stop bouncing, lower your hands and arms. And I feel the vibration throughout your body. Now let's do the tapping, waking up your energy. So fingers or knuckles, it doesn't matter. So tap on the cheekbones nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Beginning of the eyebrows, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Make your hand like a cup, top of the head, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Base of the head, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Massage the C7, the bottom of the neck, and a big bump here. So massage nicely and gently. Mm, open this area, that helps. Now let's clap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Elbow, left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Left armpit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, eight, nine. And now tip forward from the hips and then cup your kidney areas with uh, the loose fists. Be gentle. And then open your hands in a massage with your palms. With back of the hands. Now loose fists and then tap your tailbone sacrum area, opening up the first gauge to your vital key energy center. Now put your hands on your kidney area support and then straighten your body and let's do the hip point. So be gentle. Now let's do the knees. Front of the knees, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Back of the knees, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Left knee on sides, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right knee, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, how are you feeling? Just feel it. 
And then now we are getting into the preparation. So feet hip this apart. And then just stand, spine straight, neck straight, chin tucked, dropping your shoulders, knees slightly bent. And then now elbows away from your body so that you can activate the uh, being, not being here, and then being here. So yeah, you can go into the emptiness by doing this way. So open your hands, fingers. And then stretch your fingers a little bit. And then when you feel the vibration or sensations in your body, that's the place you would like to be. Close your eyes if you feel comfortable. And again, if you need to sit down or lie down, please do so. Smile on your face. Slow, deep breath in and out through your nose. And visualize a beautiful, soft light, gentle light shining in your lower dantian, deep in behind your navel. That's your vitality energy. As you breathe slower and deeper, the light is shining brighter and then gentler. Now feel your feet are firmly grounded. And you can imagine the strong roots growing deeper and deeper into the earth, maybe nine feet deep. You are getting the energy from the earth. So today, as I mentioned, we are practicing the contentment. So that's part of the five elements healing movements. So now bring your hands tip of the fingers together, and then press the finger, fingertips to each other to activate your heart energy. So connect with your heart energy. And then now bring your weight on your left foot, and then step your right foot slightly outside if you can handle this one, and then come back to the center. Bend your knees slightly, and then as you inhale, you slide your hips to the left side to feel the 70% of your weight on your left foot. Stay there, count three, two, one. And then as you exhale, you slide your hips to the right side to the same thing, 70% of your weight on your right. Hold there, three, two, one. So you inhale as you slide the left. Hold, three, two, one. And then go to the other side. And then count, three, two, one. So I will be quiet. So a reminder is just think about what you have. What you have enough. What you are content about. Drop your shoulders. Allow your lungs to receive the universal healing energy, the energy of contentment. And you can visualize white light filling your lungs.
Press your fingertips a little firmer. And see the beautiful light shining in the heart shape you are holding in front of your belly button. Soothing light. Reminding you what you already have. Reminding you that you are loved, supported, and guided. And by knowing what you already have, recognizing that you are loved and guided and supported, that brings us so much of gratitude. Now let's move on to the next movement. So come back to the center. Now bring your hands together, palms together, and then put your weight on the left. Bring your right foot back in. Feet hip this apart again. We are doing the movement, connecting with your heart's energy. By the way, the previous movement was connecting with your body's energy. So now we bow down, moving the spine, and then feel gratitude energy. You can say in your mind what you are grateful for. So let's begin. So you inhale, bow down as low as you want. You can go deeper if you want. And then you can sit down and do this movement. And then exhale, you come up. So continue to do that. And then now be quiet. You just keep feeling the gratitude energy. Now I am adding one more element, healing element, to this movement today. So now bring your focus into lower dandim and see the candlelight, gentle light shining there. Feel the warmth. Bring the candlelight up your heart, middle dantian area, and feel the warmth in your heart or middle dantian. The gratitude energy filling your heart, pumping out throughout the body. And you are full of gratitude energy. You 
And now bring the light or your focus from your heart down to lower Dantian. And then move the candle light to your tailbone. Visualize the light is shining so beautifully in your tailbone. And as you bow down and then up, you are pumping up the candle light flame from the tailbone through the entire spine. The candle flame is getting longer, brighter, and then feeling your spine, clearing any kind of blockages, purifying, healing. Just know it's happening right now. Feel any sensations or warmth in your body. Now this movement, moving meditation is coming to the end. So please do one more bow. And now bring the candlelight from the tailbone back to the lower Dantian. And see the light shining and changing into a ball of light, energy light, energy ball. And it's spinning clockwise, spinning faster and faster and faster, getting smaller and smaller. And it becomes a condensed energy pill. Smile and you tuck it deep in behind your navel. Take three gentle deep breaths in and out. Open your eyes. Now wrap your hands. And massage your face as if you are drawing a heart shape on your face. Wonderful feeling here. Now comb your hair, be gentle, and just feel your head, feel the fingertips. Now cup your head. Now gently cup top of the head. Base of the head. Massage your ears from top to bottom. Pull your earlobes down as you do this. Yeah, very good. So how are you feeling? Feeling is very important. So now tap inside of the arm, left side first, right side. Armpit, left and right. Tap your kidneys. Massage your kidneys with your palms. With back of the hands. Rub your hands, make them warm. And then hold your, imagine you are holding your kidneys in your hands and then say thank you. 
Now cup your tailbone, sacrum area. Okay, so feel how you're feeling. And then, so now we are finishing our practice for today. This is Misa Tsuyoshi from Wisconsin. I am a certified Spring Forest Qigong instructor, healer, and trainer. And I feel so honored to be here with you. Thank you so much for joining. And if for some reason, seems like, you know, Facebook, right? Life did not go through, but you can watch this one on youtube.com. So I look forward to seeing you again. And thank you. And goodbye.